Hey, what's up everyone? It's Ducati Biker. We're here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona, and we're here to unbox a new, brand new Shark Helmet, the Race R Pro GP Martina Martinator Jorge Martin Limited Edition Helmet, but we're also unboxing this helmet while celebrating my 10th year of riding with Shark Helm, which is, which is really, really cool. So before getting into this helmet, I just want to talk to you a little bit my, about my two first Shark Helmets, and um, why I decided to ride with Shark and how and why I've been with him for so long. So it started way back in 2012, before social media or anything was a marketing tool. I saw Shark helmets and if you're into the marketing thing, you know branding is super important. I saw Shark, I saw a logo for me. It was French, I'm French, I like it. I was immediately attracted to it, even before they started developing these new helmets. So I started riding with them for a long, long time. And just to clarify, I know a lot of people in the comments and the reviews are gonna be like, how, did this, how does this helmet compare to AGV, to Showy, to anything else? And I'll just be honest, I've never ridden any other helmet in my life. So this is my personal opinion and my personal view on how these helmets have, he has, have held up throughout my whole entire life. So when I moved to Europe, I got this one. And this is the FMI edition, all fully carbon. And this is the one, um, they started releasing this model with the back fin in 2018. So in 2017, you were able to get the Race R Pro, but the Race R Pro didn't have this back shell and uh, what I call shark fin. So you just had the normal uh, helmet and then they designed the new R and the R in the Race R Pro is what brings on the back of the spoiler here. And so when I saw this helmet, I was absolutely in love with it because for me, it really stood out for what shark uh, means and the designs and their functionalities and everything that works with the helmets and as you can see I've added some own uh, attachments here and how I do my own filming we'll get into that later but everything about this helmet has been fantastic and I got this one in 2018 so as you can see this helmet is completely intact there's absolutely no erosion um, I even had one of the worst crashes in my life where I front flipped over the back of a vehicle and miraculously like landed on my arms and head but not a single scratch was brought to this helmet absolutely no damage so I absolutely I'm a huge fan and I love it, but I can't compare it to anything else, so sorry guys. But so far, a lot of people who would probably buy this helmet, just so you guys know, this is in the racing category. So if you see, most of their MotoGP racers are racing this exact helmet, just more customed out. So Shark has been in the racing industry for at least 30 years now. This is their 30th year being in racing. And so they've done a lot of innovation, a lot of creation, a lot of design, and they also had a lot of special uh, pilots like Jorge Lorenzo. Right now they have Johan Zarco. They got a bunch of Moto2, Moto GP racers. So Shark, in my opinion, is coming over and now dominating the racing industry and also the lifestyle industry, which is what I'm helping him portray. So this was my first one. This was the, again, like I said, the FMI, um, Carbon Race Pro RGP. Sometimes I get confused. It's a Race R Pro GP, Carbon Race GP. I get the words messed up. I'm a little dyslexic, but it's okay. This was my first one, which I absolutely love. And then this was my second one that I got in Europe because, as you know, I ride Ducati, so we had to get the red one. And this is like one of the limited edition red ones, which I absolutely love. And again, guys, they're the same exact helmets. So most people, they look at the black one, the red one, they get a little confused. These are the same helmets. I had a really good friend of ours, um, one designs out in Phoenix, uh, Jay Lee. She did a graphic design for this, uh, for my new Pikes Peak and the Ducati biker and the whole helmet and everything I'm doing on social media. And we came up with this beautiful design that was inspired by one of my friends in France and she was able to do this really beautiful design on this uh, Shark helmet right here. So we're really happy about that. I'm happy about it and it goes really beautiful with everything I have. So other than that, these helmets have held up the same because they're exactly the same, just different colors. Um, the only thing I've noticed that I have to change is maybe after four years, I think four years of riding this helmet, or this helmet, the black one, I've had to replace the pads. So after four years of riding, yeah, you probably sweat a little bit. This helmet went through the United States and all the world multiple, multiple times in bags, in planes, everything like that. So I know in terms of durability, whether you're sport touring, because I'm very rarely on the circuit with this, I'm doing a lot of sport touring with these helmets, they, they hold up great. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. Uh, when you first get this helmet, it comes in three sizes, small, medium, large. I wear the medium size. At first, any normal helmet you get, you're gonna get, it's a little tight, it's a little fit. So what I like to do for the inside of these helmets is I'll stuff it with like a towel or a big jar or a plastic container to separate the padding. That way, if you have it um, after a month, it's gonna be less tight. So every time before you go to bed, before you're gonna ride in the morning, just have something in there to separate and just push the foam. That's pretty much generic on any helmet that fits pretty tight. Within a week or so, it's gonna be fitting really, really beautifully. And that's especially when you put new pads in. I'm gonna go over some of the features on how to take off the visor, switch the visor, and we're gonna go more in depth inside the helmet. But first, without further ado, let's unbox this new helmet. 
All right, guys, it's the moment we've been waiting for unboxing the new Shark helmet. This is the Martinator Signature GP Edition helmet, which I've just been waiting for. I put this order in about last year, and we're just really excited. And this is exactly how you would receive a Shark helmet when you order yours. So let us get into it. I'm gonna show you all the accessories and everything to give it to you as well. This will come out like so. And what I love about the new Shark helmets, especially if you get the GPR Pros, is they give you this amazing helmet bag right here. I mean, just look at that. I already have a few of these bags I just use for my general use. You know how girls have their Louis and Gucci bags? I'll throw this around my strap and I'll have my Shark helmet bag. It's pretty, pretty cool. I've traveled in many different countries with this bag and I just love everything about it. So, Shark helmet down. I got these two straps here. You got this nice pullover thing right here. Double zipper. We're gonna fold this open. Oh wow, now this is when we get into the meat. The meat and grid. So first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove this visor. So when you get the Shark Pro R, they're gonna give you a free black tin advisor. These are my favorite. I just highly recommend you do not drive at night because they are very, very dark. So one visor right here. Obviously it comes with a clear visor. Now, all right, now we're getting into the mid ingredient. And now look at that. They give you this amazing diamond blue, titanic ocean blue bag, like if this was the pearl of shark helmets. So I'm going a little bit crazy. It's always getting excited when I'm, when I'm unboxing a helmet. I'm gonna make you guys wait just a little bit longer because I love to look at this blue. And for most of you who should know me or follow me on um, all my social media I do all over the world, um, helmets to me are extremely personal. For me, I feel like it's like my first face. It's how I present myself. It's how you show up to somewhere. And it gives a vibe and an impression when you're uh, pulling up to a scene or you're influencing, you're at a race. You know, helmets are very, very important. But for me, I always like to keep obviously my face and head protected. So I feel very protected that, that way with Shark. Um, hold on, they wanted to make sure this was extra safe, which I completely agree. They did these beautiful knots around it. All right, now for the moment of truth. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow, look at this, guys. Whoa, what a beautiful addition to the Shark helmets and the racing series right there. Wow, look at that. And it's got like the Iron Man light uh, LEDs, the lights above it, which look really, really cool. X controllers if you're a gamer, if you're a Spanish gamer, you're out over in Spain, stuff like that. Man, this helmet is so beautiful. And just so you guys know, it's exactly the same as the other ones we have here, but they just did the whole MotoGP uh, Jorge Martin uh, limited edition, which we are huge fans of Jorge Martin because he rides for Primax Ducati and he is a Ducati biker like us all. And we support him and we support Shark by having this helmet and supporting the whole racing scene and everything Shark is trying to do with Ducati. We're all about it, that's why we're here, that's why we have this helmet and it's just like, wow. This is so, so, so beautiful. Here, so you got the clear visor on right now which folds up and you can be able to take a, uh, take a look on the inside of this and this is so beautiful. What I love about the inside of shark helmets, see if we could get a good angle at this, it's ruby red. It's like if you were to get like, you know, for me when I see nice red shiny beautiful stuff like this, it's like if a girl had, you know, a Louis V purse or shoes or bag and they, they put themselves in a nice little red beautiful bag and that's how I feel when I put on a shark helmet because I'm just covered in red racing inspirations and just all sorts of great stuff so i absolutely love it they give you this little tag right here these are some reflectors at night in case you want to be even safer you can put some reflectors on your helmet they also give you a nose guard for the rain which is really cool i've never used this before so this is a racing nose guard it would actually cover the whole entire like front nose and over like your eyes and you just have your eyes being exposed and this whole wet guard will go over there they also give you um, a car which is a uh, lifetime warranty or and well, they also give you a card which is a five-year warranty which you could um, put um, all your information online that way if there's any issues you could always get your helmet refunded and stuff like that but honestly the tech support and everyone in shark usa and also shark europe they're really nice and they're really friendly so if you just give them a call or shoot them an email they have always respond to me they'll always respond to you if they have any problems with your shark helmets so other than that let's see so we got a really cool bag oh this is the strap um, like I said, if you're carrying like a girl like how I do, this could be your little Louis strap or whatever. Um, other than that, there's nothing else in here, so I'm just gonna put this down. I'm gonna put the box up, that way we have a little bit of a display. Let's just put this right here, and this right here. Awesome, so now we officially have unboxed the new Jorge Martin Martinator. Primac Racing Ducati Edition Racing Shark Helmet. Oh, this is so cool. So, now that we have all the Shark Helmets here, I'm gonna show you guys how to 
remove a visor. All right, so now we're gonna install the visors and go over some of the features. So I'm just gonna put this helmet right here. It's so beautiful, look in the sun. But I just wanna show you how easy, real quickly it is um, on how to pop off uh, normal visors. This is, again, anything on a shark helmet, I call a little shark fin, because that's kind of how they design it, which is really cool. So you can see there's a, a lock and an opening position. You just flip these taps forward, and I like to pull the visor up a little bit, and then you're gonna see it's gonna pop out a little bit like that. These springs are gonna pop out on each side. Nice and easy like that. And as soon as those screens have popped down disengaged, you just, I like to grab one side each, and the visor pops off like that. Extremely simple, very, very easy and efficient to put on. So it's easier with this helmet because it's, I've done it like hundreds and hundreds of times swapping out my visor. So you can see when you put it back in, you just give a nice little click. Hear those clicks? Shark tooth in, shark fin in. There you go. It took me about at least three or four seconds to put on. So now we're going to do it with the new um, limited edition Martinator race helmet. So we're gonna lift up this visor. We're gonna hit this little fin. It's gonna pop out just like so. We will do the same to the other side. And with this little fin, it's gonna pop out like so. So right when those pop out, just brace your helmet, do one side, and do the other side. Look how easy and simple that came off. Now you have the whole entire interior of the helmet. This is a beautiful clear visor, um, but we were so lucky that Shark was able to send us multiple visors to test out with this new helmet. So the one I'm gonna choose right now, which I think everyone is a big fan of, it's the blue iridium um, tinted visor right here. Now this one is gonna complement this helmet so well because of all the colors that go along with it. So also I recommend when you're dealing with new visors and new helmets, especially when you're cleaning, always have a microfiber. Don't use a towel, don't use anything else, use microfiber. It cleans, it keeps the inside and outside of your lens clean without fingerprints or smudges and stuff like that. So again, to install the visor, put this fiber by my pocket. I never like to put my fingers on the lens. Again, new helmet, new visor. I like to hold it like this. This is the best way to do it. Make sure your fins are in the correct right position. Because as you can see right here, when you push open right here, this spring's gonna rotate. So when you twist and rotate, that's it's gonna lock it in. But when you open it, that's how it's gonna be open right there. So make sure that your little fins are in opening position. Open, open. And as you can see, there's indications right there. Lock, open, you can't mistake yourself. So hold it with one hand, brace the shark helmet. Go into the slots. Make sure everything is lined up. Wait for the click, just like that. Twist one back, twist the other one back. There you go. With under five seconds, with almost one hand, if I wasn't bracing the helmet, you can install a brand new visor. Now check this visor out in the sun. Good thing we're here in the sun, so you can get a really good impression of how beautiful and purple uh, this visor is and how it complements this beautiful signature edition. Like, just look at that. That is just, uh, I can't wait to, ride this around and show it off and take some photos and stuff like that because it's an absolute beautiful helmet and for me I'm just inspired to ride this on the circuit. I don't want to have the circuit at the end like my circuit helmet and stuff like that so it's really really beautiful. Another feature we could go over are the vents. So most of you who are probably going to be buying this helmet will be on the road um, unless you're, you want a track helmet that's totally fine too. I use this for, for sport touring purposes. So when I'm touring I have these two vents here. This is for your head. You got these two vents to open up to let air ventilation go through right there. And then you have a, a mouthpiece ventilation right here. Right there, so that's pretty cool. Opens up like that. To be honest, I don't really, it's not that I really use them. I just don't notice them that well because I keep them closed because I don't like bugs and stuff and dirt and like if there's a semi truck and there's a pollution, I like to keep all my vents closed and I can just like breathe quietly and nice and inside my helmet. Either way, you have plenty of options, 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 options. Other than that, um, what's really cool if we focus on the bottom right here, is you have a wind raised flap. And this made a huge difference to me because when you first get the helmet, it's not installed and they give you this raised wind flap where you get to tuck in this flap and it just covers all the wind from going in your helmet. So a lot of people, they'll be like, oh, my helmet's noisy or this and that. They don't know where it's coming from, from the visor, from the vents or the ears. A lot of the time when you have noise through your helmet, it's because it's coming up through your chin. So Shark has figured that out and they put a wind raised flap right here, silent. Beautiful, absolutely love it. Never had any problems with this helmet. So we're really happy and grateful to have this helmet. I believe it is one of the first few in United States that Shark has been so generous to give us so we could do a review like this and also test it and support uh, Primac Racing and Jorge Martin and everything going on with MotoGP and Shark Racing. So happy, excited, grateful. As you can see, the rest of my helmets are still intact. We've had everything going well with Shark. Looking forward to collaborating and working with them more in the future, but so far, thank you Shark so much for sending this helmet out here in beautiful Sedona, Arizona. 
Thank you again for all the support for the past 10 years of riding with you guys. It's been really, really cool. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this helmet, you could drop a comment in the description below. If not, you could always visit Shark Helmets. But really important, um, some of these helmets, they go out really quickly, especially this red one. So if you guys are looking for a red or white helmet, if you go to my website, DucatiBiker.com, I have an affiliate link with Amazon, and I think there's a few more red helmets left uh, uh, like this available in the world. So quickly jump on the website. If you can't find it there, write me a message on Instagram. If you can't find me on Instagram, write a message to Shark Helmet. Either way, we're gonna get you on a brand new Shark Helmet this year, riding safe and fast and looking just like a pro MotoGP racer with the brand new Shark Race R Pro GP helmets with all sorts of beautiful liveries and custom designs from Shark Racing. And as you can see, they've been in the racing industry now for 30 years and they're skyrocketing. There is no other helmet brand I would wear because they're unique, they're comfortable, they're stylish, and it's not your average racing helmet. And like I said, my helmet or my helmets are my first face. So with that being said, I could go on and on and on as usual. I love talking about stuff. Thank you guys all for watching this video here in beautiful Arizona. Click the links in the descriptions and links to everything below. And if you have any questions, we'll get back to you. Other than that, have a great day. And again, huge thanks to Shark.